Hello everyone and welcome to an official Doom Builder 2 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create and modify sectors. So before I can modify a sector I need to go ahead and draw a sector. Now to draw a sector we're going to use Control D. And you'll notice I get this dot that I can drag around the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on an intersection point, drag it out to 640, and I'm going to click again and this is basically establishing a line. And we're going to do this all the way around, so I'll bring it down another 640 and click again. Click again. Click one more time to where we began. And notice I got this texture here. And this texture basically signifies that we've completed a sector. So now that we have a sector, we're going to go ahead and talk about some editing modes. Currently we are in the vertices editing mode. And while I'm in vertices mode, you'll notice that these corners, when I put my mouse over them, they highlight, which means that they are selectable. So if I come to this corner up here and right drag, you'll notice that I can move it around and get some interesting room shapes in here. I also have the option to select more than one corner. So I'm going to do that now by clicking on the top left and clicking on the top right vertice. And they're both red. So now if I right drag, you'll notice I'm basically resizing my room vertically. Now I have two vertices selected. And if I wanted to deselect them, I could click anywhere on the grid. But say I had a really big level where I, this grid wasn't really available to me. Well, I could just push the C key and then I'll clear all my selections. While in vertices mode, I also have the option to insert a vertice. So if I hover my mouse over this line and push insert, you'll notice a vertice gets added. I can also add another vertice and select them both by clicking on them and right drag them out and you'll notice how I can get even more interesting room shapes. So you see how vertices can help when adding details into your level. So I've added these two vertices here and say I didn't want them. I can actually delete these by pushing the delete key. So now you see my line is back to the way it was before. So now I'm going to go into the next mode I have available, which is line depths mode. So we'll come up here to mode and click line depths mode, or you can push L on your keyboard. And while on line depths mode, you'll notice that when I hover over lines, they actually light up, which means that I can select them. Now if I right drag, you'll notice I get a similar effect to what I had earlier, because I'm dragging this line that is in between the same two vertices. I can also select multiple lines and right drag those around to get room shapes that I'm looking for. Push C to clear my selection here. And I can actually create sectors in lines mode as well. So what I'm going to do is push the right arrow key to move my view over a little bit so I have some room to draw. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a line. And I'm going to do this by hovering my mouse where I want it and pushing the insert key. As soon as I do that, you'll notice we get a mode similar to what we had earlier when we push Control D. So what I'm going to do is drag this out to 640 and drag 640 again. So I'm basically matching the sector that's right next to it. So 640 all the way around and in where I started like I did earlier. Notice we do get the texture that signifies that we have completed a sector. I also have the option to delete lines, but say I click this line up here and delete it. Suddenly this texture disappears because this sector is no longer a sector, it's just three lines. And things like this can actually create errors in your map. So it's not a good idea to go in and just start deleting lines out of your maps. So I'm going to push Control Z to undo that. So now that we have lines mode covered, we're going to go ahead and head into our next editing mode, which is sectors mode. So I'm going to come up to mode and click sectors mode or you can push S on your keyboard. So now you'll notice that the sectors highlight when I mouse over them, which means that I can now select sectors. So if I right drag a sector, you'll notice that I can move it around now. And I'll actually move this one a little bit closer to that sector. So now these sectors are closer together. And as with vertices and lines I can also select multiple sectors and I'll push C to clear my selection. Now in sectors mode I can also create sectors. 
So what I'll do is I'll put my mouse to where I want to start my sector at and push the insert key, same as I did with lines, and you'll notice I'll get this drawing mode again. So I'll, in the olden days of Doom Builder, I actually had to trace sectors to connect them. So to demonstrate that, I'll go ahead and draw this line out, and I'll actually draw along these sectors so I can connect them to each other. And you'll see that creates a sector here that basically joins these two rooms. So now I have this hallway, but say I wanted to have like a, a ledge that on both sides of the rooms here. I'd actually have to come back through and draw yet another sector here and here. But thanks to Doom Builder 2, I can do that all in one move now. So to demonstrate that, I'll actually click this sector and push delete to delete it. And what I'll do is push C to clear these selections. And I'll insert a sector starting here drag it all the way through and basically draw a bigger sector here that's 256 by 256 and when I finish this sector notice Doom Builder 2 automatically fixes the sectors to where they need to be so now I have a wider hallway and I have these two ledges and I did it all in one step and this feature isn't limited to just small hallways if I wanted to draw a big sector right through my level I can so what I'll do is I'll insert another sector here and I'll just draw it straight through and that'll be 1536 by 512 so I'm gonna just drag it all the way through so now I have this sector going right through my level and in Doom Builder this used to cause an error but with Doom Builder 2 it automatically will figure out where the sectors go perfectly now drawing through my level actually brings me to another feature of Doom Builder which is sector splitting so say I wanted to split my level in half for any reason well, all I'd have to do is come over here, push the insert key, drag a line across, click to finish the line, and then right click. And you'll notice, very simply, I just split my level in half. I'm going to split this any way that I wanted. Like, say I wanted to split these two rooms vertically. All I'd have to do is come up here, push the insert key, drag down, click to end the line, and right click, and you'll see it, split it splits it vertically as well. I'll do that over here as also. So you can see in a very short amount of time I created a bunch of sectors and this is very useful for detailing. Now I have these two rooms but say I wanted to put a pillar in the middle of them. Well all I'd have to do is come in here and insert another sector 128 by 128 so I'm going to basically make these my pillars and I'm going to do it over here too. 128 by 128 so you'll see it created these sectors on both sides here so what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and select them and I'll push the delete key and I'll push C to clear my selection okay so now you see the grid where our sector was just deleted and this is basically a void space which means that this blank space here actually has no geometry so I'll go ahead and delete this side as well. Clear my selection with C. So now I have my two pillars here, but say I actually only wanted one pillar. Well, I can go about it two ways. I can either insert another sector over it, and you'll see if I draw this out, it re-puts the geometry in there, as you'll see by the texture. Or I can do it an even simpler way, which is going to bring us into another mode. So I'll push Control Z to get the geometry back out of that. And now I'm going to come into a brand new mode in Doom Builder 2. And this mode is called Make Sectors Mode. So we'll come up here to Mode and click Make Sectors Mode or you can push M. And while in Make Sectors Mode you'll notice I get pretty much the same highlights as I did while I was in Sectors Mode. The one big difference here is that I can actually highlight this void area that I just created. And with this void area highlighted, if I click, you'll notice it flashes, and I actually have the ge geometry back into that sector. So you see with a simple click, you can go through and set any void spaces that you have put in your map back to geometry very quickly and easily. But that's not the only feature of Make Sector Mode. You'll see if I hover up here, 
it also selects the bottom sector there. Well, that basically means that this sector and that bottom sector must share the same properties, such as the space between the ceiling and the floor and how bright the sector is. But say I wanted to have this top sector to have different properties in this bottom sector. Well, all I'd have to do is click one of these sectors, it'll flash, and now if I put my mouse over the top of the bottom one, you'll notice that they are considered different sectors, which means that they can now have their own properties. So with that, we've created a sector, gone over different mode types, we've even built another sector and connected the two, as well as ended up making it one nice room here, which will pretty much wrap up this lesson. Be sure to tune in for the next lesson, which will be on styling and populating, which we will further go into editing sectors and lines, as well as taking a look at the texture browser and also adding things into our level. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next lesson.